Three tips for your cross knee release. This is one of my favorite moves and there's so many moves you can add onto it that it's certainly worth trying. You can do this one from a climb or from super low and I highly recommend doing it low down if you're still working on this one. Tip number one, have a good leg hook. The most important part for this one is to have a really strong hook in that bent leg. You want to think about the pole coming into the crook of this knee. The foot of the bent leg should really be pulling towards your bum and your straight leg should really be kicking up to the ceiling. Tense your legs as much as you can and make sure you're using your leg muscles to do the work. If you don't have a good hook in the bent leg, don't go any further. If you do, then you can try an add-on. Tip number two, use the abs. When you get to the position where you want to take your hands off, tense your core as much as you can. Imagine that you're holding the top of a sit-up position. That's how tense you want your core to be. If you just let go, not tensing your core, you'll flop down and it puts much more strain through the legs. Tense your core as much as you can and as you let go of your hands, you want to slowly be able to roll back almost a centimeter at a time. So it's really, really controlled and it's really, really slow. The more your core does, the easier this move is going to be. Tip number three. Holding the move is much easier than getting into it. So if you can get to the position where you have a good leg hook, you're tensing your core, but you're ready to take your hands off, holding without your hands on is actually a super, super tense position. When you lean all the way back into your cross knee release, it's much, much easier and your knees lock into position. If you feel like you have a strong hook and you're controlling through the core, it's much easier just to go for this move and then hopefully you'll be in a nice, strong cross knee release. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite move to add on to a cross knee release is or what you're hoping to add on when you've nailed your cross knee release. For a full tutorial on the cross knee release and many more moves, check out studio.polfreaks.com for more. Bye now. Thank you for watching and I hope you like this video. If you want to see more, check out my Moves from a Flatland Scorpio video, which I'll post somewhere around here. <laughs>